Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Before the break, <coughs> we read this uh, chapter Al Wadatu Salisa, a second Adda Sutta Siyashara. So, if anyone has any question regarding this dialogue, she can ask me now. Assalamu alaikum, teacher. Wa alaikum assalam, yes. Can you read it again? Okay. <clears throat> and I think I better ask uh, someone to read and translate it. Okay, if any uh, student wants oh. to read and translate it, then just raise her hand. Okay, Miss Tassin, you are Ahmad and Miss Khatija, you are Hassan. Start it. Read and translate it. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. Wa alaikum, wa alaikum was salam. And upon you be peace. Aina Taskun, where do you live? Taskunu. Aina Taskunu. Eskunu fi haya haya mata. Hayil matar. Hayil mata mata. I live in the near near the airport. Okay. Also complete the sentence. Oh, where are you? Where are you? enter. Enter. Taskunu fi hayil jamia. I live in the university. Hal taskunu fi baiti. University neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay, Miss Khatijana, you read the next one. Yeah. Hal taskunu fi bait. Do you live in a house? Nam Askunu fi baitin. I live in yes, I live in a house. Wahal Taskunu fi baitin. La Askunu fi shaka. I live no, I live in a flat. Marak an apartment. Marak Rakamuf Shakatika Shat Shakatiki. What is your apartment number? Hamsa. Where may rak rakamu um Bait, baitika. Tisha. Uh, what is the five and what is the number of your house? Uh, uh, tisha, nine. Okay, if anyone has any questions, you can ask me. No questions, so we'll proceed to the next one. Al Mufradat vocabulary, a lot of presentation. Unzur was the main white. Anyone who wants to read, just raise her hand. Ms. Salva, read this and tell us their meaning also. Bait. Shakka. Meaning also. Rakam. Bait mean house. Shakka. Apartment. Correct. Rakam number. High area. Yes, kun. Yes, he is kunu. living. Yes, kunu. He is living. La, no, al matar. Airport. Okay. Al jamia university. Tadrib. Sil bain al kalimati was surat al munasiba. Join the word with appropriate picture. So you will join them and you will upload the picture to the Google Classroom. In this one, there's a mistake in the picture, so you'll just join with the come. Okay. <clears throat> Miss Adiyat is saying that this page is not available in their book, so you better download the latest version. I had sent the link of the book in WhatsApp group. Next, we have Alwada to Salisa. Adarsudi Shroon Al Hivarusani, second dialogue. Unzur was the main white. Okay, this is a dialogue between Al Mustajir and Al Muajir. Al Mustajir means the one who 
gets a property on rent and al muajir mean the one who gives the property on the rent so al mustajir says assalamu alaikum peace be upon you and al muajir mean wa alaikum assalam and peace be upon you too al mustajir uridu shakkatan min fazlika i want an apartment please before we proceed further i will give you i will tell you a grammatical point if you understand it good if you don't understand it don't worry we will study the grammar from the third part of the book so i told you that in arabic at the end of every ism we use tanween or to the matain tanween or rafa you can also say like kitabun kursi or no any word we use to tanween today you study that whenever we have a refrigerator preposition before the ism instead of using the ma we use kasra fi kita bin so the preposition has given kasra to the noun so normally we use dhamma but when it has refrigerator or preposition we use kasra but here you see a word which has fata so now i will tell you why we are using fata there okay in english each sentence has three parts subject subject plus verb plus object in english each sub each sentence has three parts subject plus verb plus object for example ali throw the ball so in this sentence the word ali is subject the word throw is verb and the ball is object so object means a word on which action of the verb is done so object mean a word on which the action of the verb is done so it is called object of the sentence in arabic we use fata with the object of the sentence so for example here we have a sentence i want an apartment i want an apartment so in this sentence the action of the verb want is done on apartment so it is object of the sentence so according to the above rule the word apartment must have fatta on it so in arabic we say uridu shakatan so according to the this rule since this word shakka is object of the sentence so you must have fatta on it so let me repeat this everything first you have learned that in arabic at the end of every ism every noun we use to the ma then you study today whenever we have a preposition before the ism instead of using the ma we use kasra now you you had studied that in arabic we use fatta with the object of the sentence so in this sentence shakka is object of the sentence so we are using fatta here so let's see the three states of shakka if shakka is written in a normal sentence we use dhamma at the end if it has a preposition before it then we will use kasra at the end 
and if it is object of the sentence then we will use fatta at the end of shakka i hope you all understand this thing if you understand no. it, otherwise no problem we will study it in detail in the third part of the book but still i will give you all a chance to ask question if anyone wants to ask a question she can ask me does anyone has any question regarding this okay so i hope you understood this then we will proceed to the next one so here we have fatta on shakka because it is object of the sentence uri do i want the action of this verb is done on apartment so it is object of the sentence so it must have fatta uri do shakkatan min fazlika i want an apartment please we have a beautiful apartment what happened to my internet can everyone hear me yes yes okay. yes okay yes. so yes. I, want, I want an apartment please Ladaina shakkatun jamilatun. We have a beautiful apartment. We have a beautiful apartment. Al mustajir. Kam gurfatan fishakka. Kam gurfatan fishakka. How many rooms are in the apartment? Now again we see that gurfa has fata. Previously I told you that when we have object of the sentence, we use fata with it. But here, Urfa is not object of the sentence, then why we are using fatta with it? So let me tell you the reason for it also. We have a word come here. Come Urfatan. So the word come gives two things to the next word. Or after the word come, the next word should have two things. First thing, it should be singular. Singular. And second thing, it should have fatha at the end. So in English, we say how many rooms. Rooms, it is a plural word. But in Arabic, we say how many rooms in Arabic we say come gurfatan gurfa is a singular word so with the word come we cannot use a plural word in Arabic so that's why we are using gurfa so after the word come the next word should have two things first thing the word must be singular and second thing the word should have fatta at the end so that is the reason why we are using fatta with gurfa because after the word come, the next word should have fatha. So that is the reason why we have fatha with gurfa. If you understand this grammatical point good, otherwise no problem, we will start grammar in the third part of the book, inshallah. Then al-muajir fishakati khamsu gurafin. In the apartment there are five rooms. So here you see we have a preposition before shakka so this means shakka must have kasra with it so that is the reason why we are using kasra with shakka because of this preposition fishakati comes in in the apartment there are five rooms so here you see we have used singular word but here we are using plural word Next, al mustajir fi ayi dawri shakka. In which floor is the apartment? So, fi mean in, ayi mean which, dawr mean floor, shakka mean apartment. <clears throat> so, again, you see we have a kasra with dawr. Here, there's another grammatical point that I will not go in detail at the moment. I will just say that. 
I is Muzaf and Daud is Muzafale and we use Kasra with Muzafale. That's why Daud has a Kasra here. But we will study this later in detail. Then Al Muajir Ashakatu fit Daud il Khamis. The part. I have a question, Ustad. Yes. So this, uh, so I, you said I is mudaf. So because there is a fee, the I will have a kasra. Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Okay, zakallah khair. Miyakum, miyakum. Al mustajir, or sorry, al muanjir. A shakatu fi dawr al khamis. The apartment is in the fifth floor. Next we have al mustajir. Uridu Mushahada Tashaka. I want to see the apartment. So here again, Mushahada is the object of the sentence. So that's why it has Fatta. And also Mushahada is Muzaf. Okay, next we have Al Muajir Tafaddal. Tafaddal means yes, please. Udhul enter. Yes, please enter. Haza Babu Shaka. This is the apartment door. Al Mustajir Hazihi Shakkatun Jamilatun. This is a beautiful apartment. So, if any, at the moment, just focus on your vocabulary. We don't worry about the grammar. We will start the grammar later, not right now. So, if anyone has any question regarding meaning, translation, or even you can ask grammatical question, no problem. So, it is up to you. If anyone has any questions, she can ask me. Uh, no questions. Okay. Now, if anyone wants to read, just raise her hand. Okay, Miss Mavra and Miss Tessin. Miss Mavra, you are Mustajir, which means tenant. And Ms. Tessin, you are Muajir. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uridu shakkatan min faslik. Kindly translate it also. Ms. I want, I. I want an apartment, please. Okay, I want an apartment, please. Okay. Ladaina shakkatun jamilatun. I have a beautiful apartment. Na mean we. Ladaina, we okay. have. We have a beautiful apartment. Kam gurfatan fishakka. How many apartment? How many rooms in apartment? Yes, how many rooms are in the apartment? Next. Fish shakati khamsu gurafin. In the apartment, there are five rooms. Fiji dauri shakka. Fiji mean which? Dawr floor. Uh, which floor of apartment? In which floor is the apartment? In which floor is the apartment? In which floor is the apartment? Um, Ashakatu fit Dauril Khamis. The apartment is on fifth Uri. floor. Okay. Uridu Musha Hadata Musha Hadata I want to see apartment. See the apartment, okay. Al mean the Tafadali. Kaza Babu Shakati. Okay. Yes, please enter. This is the door of the apartment. Hazihi Shakatun Jamila. 
This apartment is very beautiful. Oh, this is a beautiful apartment. Okay. If anyone has mm -hmm. any questions, uh -huh. ask me now. No one. Okay. Next, we have Mufradat vocabulary. So, Miss Silva, read the vocabulary and translate it. Door, apartment. Door means Jameel. floor. Door means floor. Door. Floor. Jamil means uh, beautiful. Oraf, rooms. Tafazal, yes, please. Mushahada, see. Uridu, I want. Adar al Khamis, five floor. Yadukulu, he is come. He enters or he is entering. Bab, door. Okay. Next, we have the three epsil binal kalimati was surat al munasiba. Join with the word with appropriate picture. So, this question is your homework. You will join it and upload the picture to Google Classroom. Next, we have Al Hewaru Salis. We'll start this Hewaru Salis next time, inshallah. And now we'll practice some dialogues. So, Miss Khatija and Miss Adiyat. You will ask each their name, condition, country, nationality. Okay. Okay. Miss Adiyad, you are also with her. I can hear you. Okay, start. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Miss Muki. It's me, Hadiyat, our last day. Kepa Haluki. Mekhoire, Alhamdulillah. Men Aina enter. Anti. Where Maina enti? Anna Nigerian. Anna Min Nigeria because she is not asking your nationality, she is asking your country. Okay. Okay, I know mean Nigerian. I know mean uh, Nigeria. Nigeria. Aye, aye, Medina Tin. Or mean aye, Medina Tin, Anti. Mean aye, Medina Tin, Anti. Mean aye, Medina Tin, Anti. Me aye, me aye, Medina Tin, Anti. La. I know mean Nigeria. No, no, no. She's asking you, Min Ayi Medina Tin Anti, which means from which city are you? What is the name of your city? Okay. Anna, Anna Min Lagos. Okay, Anna Min Lagos. Okay, Miss Adiyat, introduce your sister to Miss Khatija and she will welcome her. I can't remember the beginning. Okay, Miss Khatija, you better introduce your sister and her profession also. And Miss Adiyat okay. will welcome her. Um, uh, here, um, Uti? Hazi Uti. Hazi Uti. Is Moha Deborah? Okay, you can also say Hazi hi Ukhti Gabra. And what is her profession? Here, uh, here, mum read that. Okay, mum read that. Uh, do you want to say nurse? Yes. Okay, here, mum read that. She is a nurse. Miss Adia, here, mum read that. Miss Adia, welcome her. Alan was Alan. Okay. 
Someone is asking me about the Holy Quran class. Inshallah, tomorrow we'll study Holy Quran. Okay, now we huh? need two more students. Miss Fatu and anyone else who wants to read? Who wants to practice? Okay, Miss Satya. Miss Fatu and Miss Satya, you both will ask each other name, country, nationality, and all these stuff. Okay, start. Miss Fatu, unmute yourself. Continue. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum musalam. Mus. Wa alaikum salam. Kaifa halak. Bi khairin wa alhamdulillah. Continue. Man aina anti. Min aina anti. Min aina anti. Ana min Gambia. Wa min aina anti. Ana min Sri Lanka. Ma jen seyatuki. Ana Gambia. Ma Jinsia Tuki Anti Anna Sri Lanki Slankia Anna Sri Lankia Matala Okay, Miss Fatu, introduce your mother to Miss Satya and she will welcome her. Assalamu alaikum. Just, just introduce your sister or you just introduce your mother, anyone from your family. Hadihi Uhti Salma. Hiya, what is her profession? Hiya, 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 now we'll stop here if any lady